So today I'm going to talk about the influx of cheaply reproduced Mexican originals. It seems to have been on everybody's lips this week and I'm glad that Cal Carolina Herrera brought it to people's um, attention. But it's something I've been seeing in the last two decades. In fact, um, in the 2000s when I had a retail space in Byron Bay, somebody who also had a retail space decided to go and start copying them in Thailand. My friends told me they were a $5 version of my dress, also importers from Thailand. Um, it wasn't the first time that I'd seen other people copying Mexican products, but what it became to be and what it's always been for me really is a bugbear. Um, if you're a designer, you have original ideas. If you're not a designer, then you find <laughs> that you need inspiration from other people. And I can hear my girlfriends tearing because we, we all have that happen again and again. But in Mexico, a lot of the time, obviously, it's not my design, but I feel for the people who are making it. I feel for the people that I give the money to. I feel for the villages that I travel, you know, a day to get to and then come and go from a small town close by. None of those women ever receive the money for the design. I know that you all know about it and it all makes a difference when, you know, somebody in the Mexican government starts talking about how they're gonna make a difference. It will never filter through to the individuals that I see and that I talk to on a regular basis. Um, there's nothing we can do. There, people are still waiting in queues to receive money for the earthquakes. If, if you want to sort of get an idea about what I'm talking about. Nothing happens quickly here and one of my dear friends today is going again today to the government to say, give me the money that you're promising me because my house was destroyed in an earthquake or the earthquakes of um, September the 19th, 2017. I think I got the date right <laughs> or the edict, whatever. The point is, that if Herrera or if, you know, Chloe Chanel, any of uh, anybody, anthro, anthro, I mean, I, one day I went to anthropology, I rushed in the door and I'm holding on to this thing that I'd seen through the window. That's from my, my town. I'm just about to go and visit those girls. And they're like, huh? And I'm like, oh, let me explain it to you. That design has been copied from that town. And they're like, yeah, whatever. Um, it, and that was in the early 2000s. Nothing changes. Nobody has original ideas. And what can we do about it? I'd like to just say, and I'll probably do a proper post with photos about how the traditional dresses in Mexico and the traditional tops and the traditional clothing and the traditional belts and everything are being plagiarized, but they're being plagiarized by Chinese people, Indian people, Ecuadorian people, and Thai people. And if you are any of those people who follow me on, on Facebook or Instagram, you know why I've blocked you. Because I don't want to give you a free ride. I don't want you to follow me to the small towns and look at those things and, you know, and copy something that's cost somebody, you know, three weeks of their time, a month of their time, and energy and love so that you can copy it, print it, whatever it is you do, run your you know, big fat machines that just go and create a design. I'm sorry, but you'll have to, you'll have to poach somebody else's um, Instagram to get that information or perhaps you'd actually even just like to come to the town and meet the people who make those things. For me, that would be a far better approach to your plagiarization. <laughs> It's not fair when the local girls and the local communities and the local families don't receive money for what they're doing. They don't receive money for what you're copying from them. And I'm seeing this by people who call themselves designers every day. Thanks for listening to me. I hope I covered all the aspects of, of what matters to me. Um, you can get in touch with me if you want to talk about this more. But my specialty is Mexico and Guatemala at the moment. With love. Ciao.